Welcome to the shop. I recently decided to upgrade my DRO display and ordered this nice color display from AliExpress and the usual suspects. It came with a wholly inadequate operation manual. I mean, it does give you enough information about the very basics. And the cord, of course, was a European cord, even though I had specified a US cord. It was well packaged, plenty of foam, and it uh, has a nice uh, vinyl cover uh, for the screen as well. Nothing seemed remiss. Everything was packaged nicely um, and nothing rattled when I opened everything up. So I thought I'd do a quick review. Um, it has all the information on the back and this does match what was advertised on AliExpress and I got the three axis model with three inputs. It came with its nuts and bolts and other connectors uh, to fit in. Unfortunately, um, the fit and finish was a little bit off. I wouldn't, I was not able to get the bolt in. So I had to take everything apart in the back. Um, I tried to just take one of the um, connectors off, but that was not enough to attach the bolt. So I took both of them off and then put everything back together. Here is the old beauty about to be taken away uh, by Precision Matthews and here is the new one installed and turn on for the first time. Got to get the plastic screen off. And here's the first startup. I have it in millimeter mode right now and everything moves really fast. Uh, the red dot tells you how far you've moved along and I think that's a nice touch. Also if you notice that the axis that is moving gets um, a bigger font. Now here is the menu screen which helps tell you uh, some of the basics and you know milling machine, three axis, etc. Something I found a little bit annoying is that occasionally you have to click on this select key and occasionally you have to click on the enter key and uh, it's not obvious when you need to do which or the other. Um, this is a nice uh, feature if you're not sure if your uh, whole thing is working or not. And you just click on all the buttons and then when you've clicked all the buttons, it'll reset itself. And also there is a clicking on the search icon gives you information about what all the different keys mean, their names, etc. And it does actually have a probing function as well. I do not buy a probe. There's a screen to do a factory reset and you can also clear all the subdatums in one place. There's a nice distance to go feature as well, which um, may be helpful. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, and as I said, there are... Now this is the reason I actually got this DRO, because this system of displaying all the holes on the screen makes it so much easier to do things like bolt hole circles, holes along a line, uh, holes on an incline, uh, milling along um, an arc and so on. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty self-explanatory and the red dot represents where you are right now and as you move it, it kind of helps update you where you are and where you need to go. Uh, then you can select the next spot and as you move towards it, uh, the X and Y will count down and you can go ahead and you know keep going until you're as accurate as you want to be. This and this is the feature that I was talking about. You can decide however many holes you want. You can decide the angle of the line that those holes will be on and again um, how many rows, how many columns, etc. And then <coughs> you select the next hole, bring the uh, drill or uh, the access to it. And it also tells you which point you are at and then when you select the next one then obviously it'll show machining point 3 out of 10 or whatever it is. 
And the biggest problem I had with the other display was that even though it calculated all the numbers for you, you could never be sure exactly where you were. And this is what I was talking about uh, in terms of setting up. It's easy to be able to see the angle of your holes, the location, etc. up front. It also has a simple R function, which can be useful if you're interested in trying to form some type of a curve. It's nice how you can see the dimensions on the graph, the distance to go, etc. And it also shows that you're on the XY plane. And the machining point is one out of negative two billion. Hmm. It also has uh, probe measuring functions and I didn't order a probe. You can do projected length measuring and so on. And also a pocket function, which is uh, useful as well. I haven't tried that yet. And here's the most interesting thing. It gives you a sort of oscilloscope display. And then there's an uh, oscilloscope-like function, which gives you information about the two different phases coming from your encoder, the duty cycle, uh, the relationship, and the phase that they're in. But I've not figured out a way how to save that information. It persists only while you're actually moving the table. So it may be of some help. In summary, I like it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Um, I bought it myself. And I hope you found it useful. Thank you.